Okay, right now what we're going to go ahead and do is work on the glove. And I'm putting black with ultramarine blue. But the dominant color is black. And I'm just adding... Very lightly, I'm just adding some black color to it to give me the folds. But as you can see, I'm not adding a lot. I just want to create those folds. And now I'm adding highlights, and the highlights are the gray 8. When working with dark colors, and you're entering your shadows or um, the dark areas if you already did it under your underpainting it's best not to add it on later on and if you do just very little as you can see I just did it very mildly um, because for some reason some dark colors can turn out to be very thick you don't want that see so I'm just doing very lightly some under shadow and I'm blending. I'm always going back and blending. It really wasn't much. I'm doing the bracelet and the bracelet is going to be between a gray 5 and a gray 8. Gray 5 for the uh, dark area and a gray 8 for the highlight to give it that sterling silver look there I am and then I'm going to start just blending it in I guess it's a bangle cuff I'm not sure but there it is the highlight and then I'll go back and just blend it in. And I added a little bit more white at the end. That just gives it a real nice rounded look. And for the background, what I am adding is the deep rose. And what I will be doing around the light areas like the hand, the fingers, the hair, anywhere where there's light color I will emphasize the deep rose and make it a little bit darker and anywhere where it's dark I will make it a little bit lighter and the reason I'm doing it is so that it can stand out and it's just a subtle change as you can see the deep rose can you see the lightness I'm doing it light right there around the black and then darker where it's lighter and that's some illusion you create to make the light stand out you don't want to put dark against dark and then light against light it's an artistic illusion that I learned from watching one of Johnny Lily Doll's videos And I thought it looked pretty cool because now you're starting to see the fingers stand out. See that? And you also, later on, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm not making it super, super bright because I don't want the emphasis to be in the background really I want her to be the emphasis and when we were looking at the painting when I was done with it I felt it looked a little empty so my son said why don't you add something around the door and what I ended up doing was I ended up adding some bricks going around the door and around the window but I didn't make them bright because I didn't want the emphasis on that just you know so that the painting would balance out so you can see I'm adding the dark 
deep rose and later on I did go back and I put some cool light on there to tone down the door and my shadow of course was the accent that we use which was the number six is what I'm using as the shadow the cast shadow of the um, the part of the door frame casting on the door there's my darts now you can see her she doesn't blend in like she was before It's good to use a big brush, but sometimes I just find myself going back to this brush. There I am adding some light to tone down. There we go. See? And so that the black also stands out. It doesn't have to be like super, super light where you can notice it. And super, super dark around the light areas. Just a subtle change. 